Hey guys, um, I gotta be a little bit quiet. I'm inside Sideshow Collectibles headquarters, inside the uh, the Hot Toys like sanctuary. This is like, look at that. So I kind of like snuck in here because I wanted to do like a really awesome review for you guys of something that you've only seen pictures of and uh, let me show you just a really quick, just really quickly. Dun, dun, dun. You guys know who that is. So um, I'm going to do a review for you guys, but don't tell anybody that I'm here, okay? All right. All right, guys. I was actually just messing with you. Welcome Sideshow fans, welcome Hot Toys collectors. My name is John Deek. Uh, some of you might know me from my YouTube channel or some of you might know me from One Six Society, which is a, a group that I started. Uh, some of you might not know me at all and that's okay. Sideshow invited me to come in and do a review for a early production sample of the Hot Toys Thanos, guys. It is just an absolutely insane day for me. You guys, I just, you know, I'm a collector. And um, I'm just, I'm just super, super excited to see this figure and get it out of the box and give you guys just an awesome, honest review. A lot of these figures for Hot Toys, if you're a Hot Toys collector, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. These figures, will usually be announced on you know Hot Toys Facebook page once they've released. And then, you know, it takes Sideshow maybe about, I would say six to eight weeks before it arrives here and so forth. But in between that time, you usually see like these, you know, photos pop up of the figures and they're sometimes not the best photo, you know, and, and people kind of contemplate, well, does the head sculpt look spot on? Or does the color of the costume or the suit look good, you know? And what we're going to try to do with Sideshow moving forward is do something that I'm going to call final production. It's sort of like a, a review show that I'm going to do for Sideshow. And what it's going to be is final production pieces that uh, are going to come to Sideshow uh, before Hot Toys might even announce it on their Facebook page. This is huge. I mean, for me as a collector, it's just like a dream come true. Um, when I met with Sideshow to accept, you know, well, to discuss this position that they, they wanted to offer me, you know, the first thing I asked them was, look, you know, can I do and talk, you know, pretty much about whatever I want to talk about? Well... I play with all of this stuff, and then I go in and I tell them what I think. And they pay you for that? Yeah. And um, that includes, you know, telling you guys straight up if, you know, I don't like something or if the head sculpt is off a little bit or, or if I feel, you know, something is not right or if I love the figure. You know, this is, this is a, a collector to, you know, all the rest of the collectors coming in and doing this review. I'm sort of like your inside guy, you know? Uh, there's no, you know, link is in the description below stuff with me. I'm going to review this figure. I'm gonna show you guys just beautiful shots of it, show you exactly what it can do, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion and let you know what I think of the figure. So with that said, if you wanna see more of these exclusive Hot Toys reviews before anywhere else in the world. Smash that like button, subscribe to Sideshow's channel, and definitely click that bell so you get a notification every time that I'm going to upload one of the new reviews for Sideshow. So moving forward, guys, this is gonna be your spot where you're going to see the reviews first. So don't miss out on it. Let's get started. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get Thanos out of the box. All right, collectors, here is the box for Thanos. I'm just out of this world excited to see this figure. I got the chance to see him at Comic-Con 
in 2018 and I was just blown away by how incredible and really large this figure is. So to see the box art in front of me is just just out of this world exciting for me. I'm, I'm super, super, super happy to be able to show you guys this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the front of the box, which is going to have some of the artwork of the figure. And then down here embossed in gold, you're going to have Marvel Avengers Infinity War. And also this is a sliding box, just so you know. <clears throat> Over here, you're going to have the side of the box, and it's gonna say 1-6 scale collectible figure MMS 479. And then again, at the bottom, you're gonna have a gold uh, embossed Avengers A logo. And on the other side of the box, pretty much the same thing. You do have a photo of the Infinity Gauntlet, which is just absolutely the coolest thing ever. I uh, actually just picked up the 1-1 one, one scale Infinity Gauntlet from Hot Toys, which I am just bananas about. I'm just obsessed with looking at it. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, all right, so this is the back of the box. You're going to have Thanos, Hot Toys Presents Movie Masterpiece Series, 1-6 scale collectible figure, Avengers, Infinity War, 479, warning, 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 notice your little hologram sticker. And then it goes on to Hot Toys logo, Hot Toys Limited. Here's their address if you ever wanna visit them. I don't suggest you do, that'd be kinda of weird. So with that said, let me get Thanos out of the box, set up so you guys can finally see what he looks like up close. Really quickly guys, I just wanted to show you what it's gonna look like when you slide the top of the box off. I had to dim the lights so you're not exactly going to see it perfectly, but when you slide the top of the box off, this is what it's gonna look like. Collectors, there he is. The Hot Toys Thanos. I'm just so excited that I just really don't know what to do with myself. I have him all set up, and the first thing I wanna do is... Oh, oh sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and go over the accessories first. The first thing we're going to go over are the hands. And you're actually going to get three hands for the right arm. And then you're going to get two hands for the left gauntlet. So basically three over here, two over there. Um, these are not going to be able to go on to the left side. So let's try to get like a close up see if I can get this to focus a little bit here of the open hand there it is and the first thing I want to mention about this guys is that they totally nailed the color of Thanos I mean this this purple that they used for the body and for the for the head sculpt is just absolutely phenomenal it's it's perfect it looks just like the movie pretty much um, just really quickly this open hand it is not articulated it is a rubber hand it's just going to pop right on his uh, his arm over there this one is going to be a closed fist hand um, it is completely closed so you're not going to be able to put any weapons in there which is not a really big deal because you know does Thanos really need any weapons anyway other than his gauntlet um, yeah, so you guys get that, which is awesome. Then you're going to get this arm, which is, it's sort of like a, if, if you don't know what a power pose is, a power pose Hot Toys figure is a figure that is uh, not really articulated. It's sort of like, I don't know, I guess you could say like a little mini statue. So this is what I kind of would call the power pose arm. And there is no articulation in this arm um, as far as the elbow goes. So this is going to stay like that and you're not going to be able to move it up and down. But when you do pop this arm on to uh, Thanos, you're going to be able to ratchet it up and down like this. And then you have the infinity gauntlet, which you can rotate here and there. And then of course, you're going to be able to do the individual fingers, uh, which are very, very similar to the 
Hot Toys uh, hands. Each one of the little fingers actually pivot, which is so cool. I'm so happy that it does that. And then you have the Infinity Stones. Other than the figure, the most, you know, like the centerpiece of this figure is going to be the gauntlet. So let's take a quick look up close at the articulated gauntlet. And you're going to notice that all of the little details that you guys remember from the movie, it's here. It's here in one six scale in my hand. I mean, that's just out of this world. I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away that Hot Toys managed to grab all these details and pack it into the gauntlet. I mean, guys, look at this, seriously. You have all of the Infinity Stones. Let me see if I can get it really close up. The one over there on the thumb. And this actually lights up, which is awesome. So I'm gonna just quickly dim the lights and show you guys what it looks like lit up. All right, I got the lights dimmed and I have turned on the Infinity Gauntlet for you guys. And you can just see all the stones light up. And the other really cool thing is that this one over here, this fist that I'll go over with you in a second, also lights up. You're able to pop this hand off, which I'll show you, just like that. And there's going to be an LED inside of here that's going to be able to light up the Infinity Gauntlet. And then you just pop it back on, and there you go. You have all the stones lit up. Got the lights back on. There is one particular part of this gauntlet that I want to go over with you, and that is the battery compartment. If you look over here, you're going to notice there is a little tiny notch. And what you want to do is just kind of pop your fingernail in there, pop it out, and you're going to have the battery compartment and also the on and off switch for the LED light. Moving on, before I show you guys the alternative head, I actually want to display it on Thanos himself so you guys can see what it looks like up close. But first, let's go over the stand. So he's going to come with a Avengers Infinity War stand. It's actually huge. It's a massive stand. And he's going to come with this backdrop that you're going to be able to display him with. And let me show you exactly how tall Thanos is from the bottom of the stand to the top of his head, you're looking at about 17 inches. Without the stand, you're looking at maybe 14, I'm sorry, uh, 16 and a half inches. So the base is going to add maybe about a half inch or an inch to the figure. And just so you know, he's about seven inches wide maybe eight inches down at the uh, fist area. So if you're looking to put this figure in a detoff, it's not going to be completely impossible. You will, however, have to adjust the shelving, um, you know, get some of those clamps from Home Depot and bring down the glass and you'll, you know, be able to put them into a detoff. One last thing that the base has is this alternative plate that you're able to swap out and put on just like this. I don't want to actually put it completely on, but you'll get a good idea of what it's going to look like. It kind of looks like the base of Titan and you are got your rocks and all sorts of sand and, and you have two options, you know, to display them on, which is pretty cool. We're going to go over the two head sculpts next. And this is the neutral head sculpt that you're going to receive. And then also, obviously, you're going to receive the, like, angry head sculpt, which we'll go over in just a moment. But I wanted to show you guys a really nice up-close look at what the sculpt looks like. So this is going to be the front of the sculpt. And one thing I want to note right off the bat, in the instructions, it says be super careful when you're posing the head sculpt. Uh, for a couple reasons. Um, you could potentially damage the collar or you could, you know, rub off some paint and you definitely don't want to do that. So just take your time while you're, you know, posing him. 
So that is the side of the head sculpt and the other side of the sculpt and then back again to the front and you're going to be able to move the head down just a tiny bit and just up just a very very little bit. I mean that's pretty much it as far as the up and down articulation goes but you do have a pretty decent you know left and right articulation which is uh is awesome um my opinion on the head sculpt i mean it's phenomenal it definitely captures a little bit of josh brolin um i mean it just it looks like they grabbed this guy right out of the film the the head sculpt is fantastic especially the the neutral one if uh, when I display him, I'm going to probably use this one, maybe alternate. But let's go ahead and swap out the uh, neutral one for the angry one. And all you do for that is just grab the head carefully and pop it off. And you're going to have just a really big neck peg in there. And you grab the angry one and that's what it looks like inside there. And you're able to just carefully pop it on and then you have the angry sculpt angry thanos and again this is the front and you're going to get the same articulation maybe a little bit more up with this one but not much down and then again to the side and to the other side and back up front and again just the overall details. I mean, the chin, the teeth, the eyes, the nose. I mean, you guys know Hot Toys. I mean, they're they're just, in the last couple of years, they have been putting out some really top-notch head sculpts. I mean, phenomenal head sculpts. And, and I gotta tell you, both of these head sculpts, in my opinion, are spot on. I, I have absolutely no complaints about them. They look wonderful. Moving on to the articulation. I know you guys are probably sitting there wondering what he, you know, what kind of size comparison he is compared to the first Thanos Hot Toys release. And trust me, I'm gonna go over that and I'm gonna compare him to uh, a Hulk figure and also the old Thanos towards the end of the video. But for now, really important, I wanna go over the articulation so you guys know exactly what this figure is capable of doing. So the first thing you're going to be able to do is you can rotate both arms all the way around, just like that. And you'll notice that the suit part here is kind of sticks out a little bit and it is a hard plastic. So if I were you guys, I try to like move the arm away from it so you don't scratch the rubberized arms. But you can do a full 360 degree rotation that way. The arms also are ratcheted and go up to exactly that height. And let me show you a side angle so you get an idea of what the side looks like and back down and he can go in just about to there um the next part that i want to go over which is probably as far as you know keeping the figure damage free the most important part of this review so pay attention to this one the elbow joints are ratcheted and they will go up like so to about right there. And let me show you an, a side angle view right there. Definitely don't keep this figure in this pose. And I'm sure you can see why. It's because the arms are rubber and if you do, it could potentially damage it. It also says in the instructions, definitely don't keep the figure in this pose. So if you wanna maybe get some cool shots of him and take some photos, you know, articulating his arm, you know, that's fine. But at the end of the day, you know, before you put him away in your display case, make sure that you, you know, don't go probably any further than... Me personally, I'm really, you know, particular about my rubberized bodies. So I would say 
right there should be safe and it shouldn't really cause any type of uh, creasing or anything like that. Uh, same goes for the other arm. You're gonna get full articulation all the way up to about right there. Looks like this arm goes up just a little bit higher because it is restricted because of the gauntlet, which is not really a huge deal. But same thing with this. You're gonna want to make sure that you know you don't keep it in this pose. But the great solution is, is that they gave you this arm. So it makes sense. This is you know a sculpted rubberized arm that's already like that. And when you pop this on, you're going to have that elevation with the gauntlet and it's not gonna cause any damage. So you could potentially store this arm away or you can keep it on or whichever you know is your preference. It's going to have a ratcheted articulation to this side and also to that side. So you're gonna get a minimum you know, articulation in a waist, but still it's a huge figure. And in my opinion, I mean, that's, that's enough for me. And then you can get him back into the center, but as far as anything up or down, you're not really going to get much articulation up or down, but you know, how often do you see Thanos really bending over in the movie? I mean, this guy is a huge, huge guy and he's pretty much always standing up straight anyway. Moving on to the legs. So you're actually able to rotate the legs out to about right there. Just be careful so you don't split his pants over there in the uh, crotch area. And then you're also able to rotate the legs in that way. I mean, this is a huge, I mean, it's, it almost feels like a one fourth scale body. It's, it's, it's really massive. So then the legs are going to be able to ratchet up to about right there. And let me show you a side angle so you get an idea of how far it goes. And same thing with this leg. Ratchet up to about right there. And then side angle so you can see. It's not gonna, you know, it's not something that you're going to be able to, you know, get really high up. But I think that it's just, you know, the perfect amount. He's not gonna be doing any front jump kicks or anything like that. And then you have the knees, which are also ratcheted and they will bend into about right there. And let me bend the other one also so you can see both. Okay, and there is the front view. And if I was to place him flat like that, you'll get an idea of how much the knees bend. The next thing I want to go over with you is going to be the clothing and his suit. And I want to give you guys some really nice close-up shots of the top part of his armor. And the first thing I want to mention is all of the armor that he's wearing is sort of like this, the top part here is sort of like this rubberized material, sort of like a vinyl rubberized. And then over here, it's it's kind of like, I don't know, it's it's very interesting. It's, it's I wanna say that it's also rubberized over there. But as far as the details go, I mean, the shot speaks for itself. I mean, you guys can see the absolute perfect molding and and just all the details that Hot Toys did to put into the top of this armor here. Let me get a little closer to the top part so you guys can see the gold section. I mean, just take a look at that. I mean, tell me that's not Thanos. It's, it's just out of this world awesome. And if we move back out, we can just go ahead and check out the bottom part here. These are his pants and his pants are just, you know, a cloth pair of pants. Um, they look, you know, pretty much just like the movie, which is, which is awesome. Let me flip him around before we go over the boots and the back. I mean, he's got a huge, this, this figure is massive. I mean, when you guys get him at home for whoever decided to order him, 
I mean, you're just going to be totally blown away with how big Thanos is. Put it this way, he's not the same size as the first Thanos. He's much, much bigger. So over here, you're going to have some flaps that, you know, can move back. And this kind of moves back here a little bit. And then you have the gold armor at the top here and just more of the, the details of the top of the armor. And then, of course, moving on over to the back of the pants. I want to show you guys the boots up close. They are molded rubber and they are made of two different sections. And just, I mean, just take a look at it. There you go. You guys can can see for yourself how awesome this looks. Let me Let me kind of get like a side angle here. Nice up close shot. It's got all of the lines and the various grooves of Thanos' boots and the blue coloring. I mean, just the molding of these boots are fantastic. Look, let's, let's try to get it really nice and close so you can see. And at the bottom, you're going to have all of the treads. And then of course, it's going to have Marvel, the little Marvel logo. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the boots. It looks pretty awesome, I think. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the comparison so you guys can see what this guy looks like next to some other figures. Comparison time. So the first figure I'm going to compare Infinity War Thanos to is to Avengers Thanos. And as you guys can see, <laughs> he is just towering over this figure. I mean, just take a look at just how much bigger and bulkier Infinity Thanos is versus the Avengers Thanos. Now, don't get me wrong, this is an awesome figure. I mean, it was, you know, I believe it released, what, oh my gosh, I want to say four, almost four or five years ago already. It's been out for a while now. And, um, you know, but at the time, and still today, it's still an awesome figure. Uh, but as far as the new Infinity War Thanos, I mean, you guys can see, just absolutely towering. Now, the first thing I want to take a look at is the pigment of the skin for both of them are pretty much, I want to say identical. I mean, they used, they definitely used the same identical paint for the bodies. Now let's get a side view so you can see and compare. Let's back up just a little bit so you can see right there just from the side view how much bigger he is. And the back view, let's get it set up just like that. And again, there you go. That's the comparison to uh, the, uh, the size. Now let's kind of get a better view of both head sculpts kind of close to each other and give you guys an idea of what this looks like. So I'm gonna just kind of raise my camera up just a little bit over here, angle it up, and just go in just a little bit on both of the sculpts so you can see for yourself what they both look like. And that is a close-up shot Oh, let's get it to focus properly. There you go. And a close-up shot of infinity. So as you guys can see for yourselves, there is a significant difference as far as the head sculpts go. Uh, you know, the design and the look of the head sculpts. You know, it's just this one definitely has more of the, you know, Josh Brolin, uh, you know, appearance versus this one. I know a lot of you love this armor and you're hoping to see this figure uh, with this armor. Who knows, maybe Hot Toys will make that happen one day. But um, let's go ahead and compare him to the Incredible Hawk. Let me go ahead and grab him really quick. All right, guys, I have Infinity War Thanos standing next to Age of Ultron. Hulk. And as you guys can see, I mean, this, you guys know this is a huge figure, okay? 
and as you guys can see Thanos is pretty darn big you know he's almost you know if he was a little bit more muscular he's almost as tall with the exception of maybe about an inch and a half as the Incredible Hulk um, one thing that I'm really happy I got this shot together for you guys because there's one thing I want to mention if you touch the material for Incredible Hulk the material for Thanos is similar but a little bit softer I'm, I'm trying to kind of you know let you guys know what this material for the body feels like it's 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 like a soft rubber you know it's very comparable to to the hawk the hawk is a little bit more rougher but it, it has that rubber feel but thanos is the sim you know similar but he is you know just a tad bit smoother and softer so let me get a side profile view of Thanos and Hulk so you guys can see for yourself. And I'm just gonna hold on to Hulk so he doesn't knock Thanos over here. And there you go, you can see right there for yourself a side comparison. Uh, again, you can see that it's not that far off. I mean, granted, Hulk is bulkier, but give it about an inch, inch and a half, you know, you're looking at almost the same height and let's just go ahead and do the back here so you can see what that looks like it's pretty awesome yeah so that is the comparison between hulk and infinity thanos final thoughts what do i think of infinity war thanos well I'm just, first of all, I'm super excited that I got a chance to review him. Um, I mean, I wanted to just send a shout out to two particular people at Sideshow. Um, one who, uh, his name starts with a C and another one whose name starts with a J. Uh, I really appreciate you guys giving me the, the chance to, to shoot a review for you. And, and I'm very grateful and super excited to have been able to see this figure. Um, with that said, I think the figure is fantastic. I mean, the articulation is there. Uh, they thought ahead of time with the power pose arm. So this way you can have that, you know, bend in his arm and not have the fear of ruining the rubber. The head sculpts are phenomenal. They're spot on. The color of his body and and the purple hues that they used for this are just phenomenal the little gauntlets i mean guys the little one six scale gauntlets are just crazy detailed they light up you have all the stones light up i mean it just it it doesn't get better than that do i have anything negative to say about it not really i mean you know I think Hot Toys hit another home run with this figure. And if you're one of the collectors who ordered him, I'm pretty confident you're going to be really, really happy with him. So, guys, if you haven't yet, please take a moment. Head over to Sideshow's new Facebook group. It's called Let Your Geek Side Show. Uh, awesome group. You're able to interact with a ton of other collectors like yourself. Also, subscribe to Sideshow's channel. And if you're already subscribed, hit that bell. So this way you guys can get a notification when I upload a new review way before anyone else does. And this way you'll be able to see it here first and, and make that decision whether you like this figure and you want to get him or you don't like him. But as far as I'm concerned, I love him. I'm looking forward to displaying him in my, in my collection and uh yeah so that's it guys thanks for watching my first ever review on sideshow's channel and i look forward to bringing you a lot more so until next time keep collecting and thanks for watching all the best